What's up, guys? So today we got Tremaine Johnson, team of the week, 86 overall, man defense style, 6 foot 2, 91 speed, 93 XL, 86 zone, 79 catch, 76 play rec, 94 man, 92 agility, and only 82 press. Now, compared to football outsiders Jimmy Smith, you know their uh, press rating is nowhere near the same. Even though that's who he reminded me of when I played with him. You know, they're both six foot two. They're both fairly aggressive. The thing is that when I played with Tremaine Johnson, I could not tell if he was more aggressive or conservative. Because some plays he would be really aggressive, jumping routes and, and you know disrupting the pass like that. And some plays he would um, he'd be a lot more conservative. So I couldn't really get a good read on him because he kept going back and forth, back and forth. So if you guys pick him up, you know, let me know. How, uh, let me know if he was more aggressive or conservative for you. And right here. You'll see he's a very, very good tackler. You know, I had no worries about that when people would run his way. Right here, he forces a fumble. Can't guarantee that every time, but, you know, it's definitely possible. Right here, just throwing hit sticks, man, doing what he does, man, doing what a six foot two corner should do. Right here, going up against Todd Gurley, making tackles, man, against everybody. So you don't need to worry about the uh, tackling part of, um, part of his game when you play with him. Very dependable there. He will have his slip-ups like right here. He did get, um, I think it's Andre Reed got away from him. You know, of course, nobody's perfect right here. He's going to get beat on that um, on that route right there. Should have turned around sooner, but no, it happens. You know, even though he's six foot two, you know, and he's designed to stop the um, designed to stop the deep pass right here. You're going to see it does get him the, the uh, not the deep pass, but the high pass. You know, like I said, nobody's perfect, so he will get beat from time to time. Right here, just a bad read by him. He should have jumped that route. Like I said, he, he definitely played conservative right there. Right here, I played um, the ball aggressive. It bit me. So, you know, you really got to... It's really up to you right here. Even with two guys on that on that receiver, he still got the uh, the pass down. So, be on the lookout for that. Right here, that, this is where that 91 speed, you know, just might bite you in the ass as well. You know, it does have, you know, 91 speed. You got to expect it from time to time to get beat. Right here, I'm testing out that press. His press is not that great, depending on who you're going up against. Right here, look at the far right. It's Brandon Marshall. He beats him. My opponent does not see it, thankfully. Right here, I do it again. Look to the far right. Brandon Marshall again beats him again. So, you know, if you see that he's going up against Brandon Marshall or Fitzgerald, you know, these tall guys don't don't press. It's, it's not a smart thing to do. But right here, this is what he did extremely well, picking off the passes, man. He has a 79 catch, so he's going to make some nice catches. He's, he's, he's very rarely going to drop the ball. And, you know, these kind of interceptions he's going to do the most. You know, the ones where he jumps up high and takes it away from the receiver before the receiver gets a chance to do anything with it, which is what I always like. You know, so many guys, like I said, want to throw those, those high passes. Right here, this is where he was being very aggressive. Right here, too, he just jumps the route. So, you know, like I said, I could not get a good read on him, man, because he, he kept going back and forth. So, very, very, that part, I did not like that at all. That that was very confusing. But like I said right here, this is what he this is what he's gonna do the best. This is why you should get him if you need help in this department. The deep pass. If you struggle with the deep pass, you know, stopping the deep pass, you know, people who do these aggressive catches on you a lot, I suggest trying him out. You know, he's only going for like fifteen thousand, I suppose. I I think, you know, last time I checked. And that's a very solid price for this guy. So if you want to, man, I say check him out. Anyways guys, that's gonna be the end of this review. My final thoughts do I think he's worth fifteen thousand? That does sound about right to me. That's a very good price for such a good corner. Of course, he's not top five or anything, but he's definitely a great corner to get if you're still rising up in the ranks. And even if you already are at the top of the ranks like I am, you know, he's a, he's still a good corner. As most of you know, right now I'm ranked first string all Madden. So I'm going up against these guys who have Heinz Ward, Michael Irving, Brandon Marshall, Calvin Johnson, you know, all, all these big time receivers. And for the most part, you guys saw he held his ground against most of them. So, you know, like I said, if you're already going up against those kind of guys, you can always try out Johnson. Of course, if you already have Cromartie or Peterson or any of those guys, I'm not saying bench them for Johnson, but you know, if you're struggling at the corner position or you just don't want to spend three or four hundred thousand on these corners, you could always try Johnson out, see how well he does for you. Of course, you could put him in the slot, but I just think he plays better at the outside. But you can do whatever you want with him; he's your card. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be into that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to subscribe, guys, because I do upload very often so if you're not subscribed you just might end up missing something anyways boys i'll see y'all boys later man peace